Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Bidoff, sat at my desk as per usual. Now then, I am a children's author and an illustrator. Uh, you might know some of my books like this one. It's called Blown Away, all about Penguin Blue here, who goes out flying a kite on a very windy day and ends up somewhere that penguins aren't usually found. Maybe you've seen this one, which is called Sunk, which is another penguin story. This time, Penguin Blue and his friends are playing at being pirates. Two penguin books I've written. And so I figured it's just about time that I showed you how to draw another one of my penguin characters. We've done Penguin Blue before, way back in video number seven, we drew Penguin Blue flying his kite but he has two other friends in these stories. So let's see if I can find them. So there's Penguin Blue with his kite. Uh, and then look, the kite's so high, the wind's so strong. It's pulling Penguin Blue along. Save me, penguins, Jeff, and Flo. They try to help, but off they blow. So these guys, Penguin Jeff and Penguin Flo, they have this huge adventure along with Wilbur Seal and Clive the Polar Bear. And look, there they are, all three penguins having this adventure together and they end up, all of them, in the jungle together. Look, there's Penguin Jeff, and there's Penguin Flo, there's Clive the Polar Bear, we've drawn him before, there's Wilbur Seal, we've drawn him before, sorry, Wilbur, there, just poking in from the bottom of the screen there, and there's Penguin Blue. So today, because, do you know what? Tomorrow is a big day in the world of penguins. Tomorrow is World Penguin Day. Tomorrow being the 25th of April, so tomorrow at the time of recording is World Penguin Day. So that's another reason to show you how to draw a penguin. And I have chosen to show you guys how to draw Penguin Jeff. He's a little rock hopper penguin. I think he's a rock hopper penguin. They're the ones with the big sort of eyebrows anyway. And I thought I would show you how to draw him today. It's a nice easy one, a very simple one. So all you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and then maybe something to do a bit of colouring with later. Um, so should we just start? Should we just get on with it? We don't need, there's no need for loads of chat, is there? We're just gonna get straight into it. In case you haven't seen uh, one of these videos before, this is how it works. Lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say that's nonsense, everybody can draw. Some people just need a little bit of help. You need a little bit of sort of pointing in the right direction here and there. So that's where I come in, because this is what I do. I break these drawings down into little simple bite-sized pieces. So a little tiny shape, one little shape at a time. I draw my shape here. I will stop. You can pause the video, copy exactly what I do. Start me up again and I'll draw a little bit more of the drawing. Pause me, you draw, start me up, I draw, pause me, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end we're going to end up with a lovely picture of Penguin Jeff. Just in time for World Penguin Day. So here we go. Let's make a start, shall we? Right. I want you right in the centre of your page, we're going to start with a very, very simple shape. We're basically going to draw a great big rectangle. But my rectangle is going to have slightly rounded corners. So we're going to go up, around, about that far along, round again, back down, and we're going to join up where we started. Okay, don't worry if your lines aren't perfectly straight. Look, mine, look at that wobbling all over the place. I'm using a rather nice brush pen here and you can see where my brush, where the ink hasn't quite covered the bristles of my brush. I've got some little sort of gaps and bits and pieces and it's all very uneven. I'm not gonna correct that, I really like that. It's a really nice texture. Look, if I go in close, can you see? It's a really lovely texture and it makes it look like it's been hand painted, which is the, the thing that I want people to think when they've done this. I don't want them to think it was done by a machine or a computer, I want them to think it was done by me, a human. So don't worry if yours isn't perfect. Honestly, that's what gives your drawing character. Okay, so just keep on going with your drawing, even if you don't think it's perfect. Okay, so there we go, a nice round cornered rectangle to start with. The next thing I want you to do is about, if you imagine that's split into three even pieces okay so one two three so about if you sort of count two of those three pieces up so two-thirds of the way up your drawing I want you to draw a quite deep V shape right in the middle like that 
So a very pointed, a very narrow V shape. And that is gonna be, can you guess what that's gonna be? That's right, that's gonna be Penguin Jeff's beak. So yes, Penguin Jeff, I think he's a rock hopper. I'm very, I'm slightly reluctant to say that because I always say that my penguins are from the Antarctic in this story. I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling rock hopper penguins don't come from the Antarctic. I think they are somewhere else, somewhere like, I don't know, where they might be from the Galapagos Islands. Do you know what, I'll put a little um, education station up here. That's where rock hopper penguins actually are, but don't tell anybody because I, in my book, I say they're from the Antarctic, but hey, don't worry. Let's, so you're, that's our secret, okay? Our little secret. Right, <laughs> let's carry on with our drawing. What I want you to do, the top right hand side of our V, we're going to go along horizontally. Then just before we get to the edge, we're going to turn around again. We're going to use a nice rounded corner. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to follow our line down. Then we're going to curve around. So we're just tracing the outside shape, but we're just doing it slightly smaller, just inside. And we're going to go up there. And then when we get level with the top of the V here, we're going to turn around and we're going to join back up. So we've created a shape within our shape. This is a really nice, easy one. This isn't going to take us that long, this one, which is fun, isn't it? Sometimes it's really nice to do a very quick drawing. It's still going to look very impressive, though. Don't you worry. OK, the next thing to do is on this side of our penguin's head, I want you to draw a semicircle like that so it just comes in from the side and goes around joins back up with the side and we're going to do exactly the same on the left like a mirror image like that again don't worry if yours isn't perfectly symmetrical it doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same on both sides remember we're giving our drawing lots of personality okay the next thing to do is inside those semicircles i want you to draw a little circle one there and one there. And inside those circles, I want you to draw a smaller circle that we are gonna color in. One there, and one there. And look, Penguin Jeff is awake. Okay, now, these rock hopper penguins, I always thought, I did initially, I thought he was an emperor penguin, but I think the ones with the big eyebrows are rock hoppers. I think they are. I really should have done, check my facts before I started this video, shouldn't I? Either way, they have these lovely sort of, sort of orangey yellow sort of decorations on each side of their beak. So this is how we're gonna do that. We are gonna draw a kind of, we're gonna follow the same angle of our beak up here, and we're just gonna draw a very narrow sort of rectangle at a slight angle there. We're gonna do one there, and we're going to do one on the other side there. And when we come to the colouring time, we're going to colour those bits in yellow. And it will all make much more sense when it's all coloured in. Because at the moment it looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Poor old Penguin Jeff. Lots of people say, why did you call him Penguin Jeff? Well, I have a very good friend. One of my oldest friends that I went to school with is called Jeff. So I named Penguin Jeff after him and penguin Flo was named after my cat that i had quite a long time ago called Flo. so i quite often like to name my book characters after friends of mine or pets of mine things like that so it's one of the f most fun bits about writing books actually coming up with the names for the characters and my friend jeff was very pleased when he found out i named a penguin after him <laughs> and also i think jeff's just a comedy name for a penguin or any animal. Imagine if you had a dog and you said, what should we call the dog? Let's call the dog Jeff. <laughs> Brilliant. Jeff, come here, Jeff. Anyway, where was I? Right, the next thing to do is we're gonna give our penguin some feet. What we're gonna do, feet, penguin feet, I really, I like, I've said this before to you, haven't I? Us illustrators, we like to take shortcuts whenever we can and make things as easy as possible. Wait till you see this. This is how I do penguin feet. First of all, we're gonna do two little vertical lines coming down from each corner like that. Then coming out from each of those lines, we're gonna do two more lines. I'm sort of doing mine going to a little point on each side. One, two, and that's it. That's how you do penguin feet. See, shortcuts, told you, I wanna make it easy as possible. The wings are even easier. What we do with the wings, we sort of start here, so right near that part where it just starts curving round, about two or three centimetres to the right of that, I want you to start by drawing a sort of slightly curved line. 
that joins up with the side of our penguin there. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. As close as a mirror to a mirror image as you can do. Just nicely sort of curving into the side of the body. Like that. And there we go. That is pretty much the outline finished for our little penguin. I told you this was an easy one. Nice and easy. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you might have spotted that I haven't yet done Penguin Jeff's signature sort of yellow and orangey coloured um, outlines. We're going to do those right at the end. First of all, I think we need to give our Penguin Jeff a bit of colour. So I'm going to go into my usual super speed mode um, to do this. Um, uh, you Listen, if you haven't got any colours, basically penguins pretty much are black and white. This one's just got a little bit of sort of oranges and yellows that you'll see I'm going to add here and there. If you haven't got colours, don't worry, just shade it in with your pencil, that's absolutely fine. But if you have got a yellow and an orange pencil maybe, you might want to copy what I do. But because this is Draw With Rob, the rules are there ain't no rules. Your penguin could be bright red and pink if you like. There's no, <laughs> whatever you like, the more colourful the better actually. Why not? Go for it, do whatever you like. I'm going to go into super speed mode and then I'll see you back here in 20 or 30 seconds or so and we'll put the finishing touches to our penguin jets. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so there is my penguin Jeff. Pretty much coloured in, you can see it's quite minimal. Bit of orange up here and around these areas here. And then I've started with orange at the top and I've gradually faded down to a nice yellow. So I don't know if you could see, because I was going in super speed mode, but the way you do that is you actually start with the yellow first. So you colour all of that area in yellow and you sort of press a bit lighter as you get to the bottom so it fades out. Then you add, a, if you've got more than one colour, see for example, look, I've really used my yellow a lot, but I have that yellow, then I had another yellow here, and then I had an orange. So I started with this yellow here and faded that out, then I added a bit of that at the top, faded that out into the yellow, and then the darker orange there, and it just sort of makes a nice, I think they call it ombre. So it makes a nice blend down to that yellow. So that's what I did. And then I added just little bits of my favorite. Lots of you have watched lots of these videos. You know I really love this blue color, this turquoise blue. I use it in the shadows here because Penguin Jeff here, he lives this particular rock hopper, rock, I can't say rock hopper, rock hopper, I keep saying rock. This particular rock hopper penguin lives in the Antarctic on the ice. <laughs> I don't know whether they do. You will have seen from my, uh, um, my education station earlier whether I was right or wrong about that probably wrong um, but I've added that blue there in the shadow so it sort of gives a suggestion that he's standing on something cold and I've also used it here just to height just to sort of give it a bit of rounded sort of depth on that side now then you remember I keep talking about Penguin Jeff's famous eyebrows let's see if I can find him in this book here Okay, there's Penguin Jeff flying through the air, but can you see he's got these three little eyebrows on each side. So we're gonna add them. Now, you can add them whichever way you like. I am gonna add mine in a little bit of acrylic paint because I want them to, I want this yellow. I don't know if this is even gonna work. I'm gonna use a quite a thick bit of acrylic paint here and I'm gonna try and paint it over the top of this. So hopefully it will cover it up. There we go. Okay, and there we go. A finished Penguin Jeff, complete with his crazy long yellow eyebrow thingies, feather special feather things above the eyes. <laughs> He's a funny looking chap, isn't he? Penguin Jeff, but I do like him. Now everyone, don't forget, once you've finished your lovely work of art, oh, I've got some paint on my pen there. That's no good, is it? Let me make sure my pen still works. It doesn't, brilliant. Let's get this one back. Right, don't forget, we need to sign our drawings. I'm going to Sign mine down here, here we go, a lovely curly R, Rob, there we go, Rob, everybody knows that I drew this particular penguin Jeff, I wonder how yours have turned out, do you know what, I can't wait to see them, 
what a lovely group of penguins I'm sure you'll produce now. Do you know what? You know, you know um, when you have groups of animals, so you have special words for them. So you have, you know, like a flock of birds or a pride of lions. Do you know what the penguin one, one is? Well, actually, there's not just one. Because if the penguins are in the water, they are called a raft of penguins. Do you know what they're called if they're on land? This is brilliant. This might be the best ever collective noun for a group of animals. Penguins on land are called a waddle of penguins. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Because, of course, that's what they do. They waddle. So I cannot wait to see your penguins. A lovely waddle of fantastic penguin drawings. Now, this is how I get to see them. You get your grown-up to take a picture of your drawing. And then if they post it on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag, then that way I will get to see them. And hopefully your penguin, Jeff, will make the grid at the end of the week um so don't forget to post your drawings using the draw with rob hashtag uh in time for world penguin day april 25th even if it's past april 25th don't worry about it every day is a penguin day i think <laughs> penguins are just the best um listen i've had a lot of fun showing you how to draw penguin jeff i hope you've enjoyed following along I'm going to be back very soon with a brand new episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, everybody, take care of yourselves. Keep on drawing. Keep those pencils sharpened. And I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm back and I'm here to tell you about something super exciting. I know lots of you have enjoyed my Draw With Rob activity books. Well, guess what? We've got a brand new one and it's out now and it's called Draw With Rob, Build A Story. And as the title suggests, this one is all about telling you how to build your own stories, how to write them, how to illustrate them. We're gonna think about characters, how to choose your good guys and your bad guys. We're gonna think about where you set your stories, very important, when you set your story. Is it gonna be in the past, set in the past or in the future, present day? Um, we're gonna talk about how to structure your story. We, we need to give it a good beginning, middle and end. What about plot twists? Do unexpected things happen in your story? It's all covered in this book here. And we've also got our regular draw alongs. Loads of draw alongs in this one. Lots of puzzles, lots of coloring. It's super fun. Every single page is perforated. So once you've done your little draw along like this one of a unicorn, you draw it in the frame here and you tear that page out. And you stick it up on the wall. That's super cool, isn't it? And guess what? Right at the end, we've even got lots of blank pages like that for you to write your own story and illustrate your own story. And then you can put the whole thing together. Look, you put your own story together like that and then you've made your own book. You don't need me anymore. So listen, I'm super proud of this book. I'm pretty sure you're going to really, really enjoy it. And guess what? It's out now. You can get it from wherever you buy your books. OK, so listen, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to see you really soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Bye, everyone.